Have you ever felt like you were being scammed? Or worse yet, actually were the victim of a scam? Well, I have to tell you today, we were all duped. And I'm gonna share with you today what you need to know before you hand over your hard-earned cash, right? So uh, my name is Cece Cheney, and this all came to be because I was watching a special. You know how much I love um, TV shows and series and docu-series, right? I was watching a show called McMillions. Let me know if you have watched this, right? So if you remember in like the 90s and early 2000s, McDonald's was um, running a Monopoly promotion. Do you guys remember this? Like you would peel off the little Monopoly promotion and you could win like a Big Mac or you could win like French fries or hash browns with breakfast or you could win a million dollars, right? You would collect the little Monopoly pieces and everybody was doing it and it seemed like such a really cool promotion. So uh, there's this six part docu-series about this experience and if you thought that you had the capacity to actually win that million dollar prize or any of the high ticket prize, you were duped, right? So everybody across America who watched this this thing going on, we all fell for this thing because we thought that it was a legitimate way for people to happen across some actual dollars and big dollars. And so I remember seeing commercials, right, for people who actually won the million dollar prize. And um, as I was watching the show, they explained that the whole time, the entire time, there was uh, somebody who had stolen all of the pieces and was selling them to other people and the people who were claiming those million dollar prizes were actually um, not winners, right? They were actually committing a fraud. Like, I was shocked and surprised and I had no idea that this was a thing that had happened. And apparently, uh, it had been in the news, right? I don't remember it at all. I don't remember it at all. But every person who um, was going to McDonald's and buying the food or, you know, whatever it is, we all got duped. We all thought that we had this opportunity to sort of luck into money or luck into um, abundance, right? Because it sounded so good, right? It sounded too good to be true. But you had people who were very obviously um, winning, right? So it was very interesting for me to kind of see that, um, that that is what actually happened. Like, it really surprised me that 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 was the reality. And I think about things like the lottery and all of these times that people uh, think that they can um, get something for nothing or get something for very little. And the thing that you need to know is that there's this thing called the law of economics. And so as you know, I am obsessed with this book, Vibrational Money Immersion by Ray Higdon. And it's funny because I read, I watched the show, I watched the last episode of McMillions, and then I opened up this book and it like opens up to the law of economics, which is so funny. I'm like, okay, this is perfect timing. I'm sharing this with you. You obviously could benefit from hearing this. So I'm just gonna read a small passage because this is the key that we have to understand if we are um, to avoid being scammed and fooled in all these things that sound too good to be true or, or that sound realistic like they could actually happen. So the book says, no system has ever been created by which men or women can legally acquire riches through mere force of numbers or without being return an equivalent value of one form or another. There is a principle known as the law of economics. This is more than a theory. It is a law nobody can beat. Mark well the name of the principle and remember it because it is far more powerful than all the politicians and political machines. It cannot be swayed nor influenced nor bribed by racketeers or self-appointed leaders in any calling. Moreover, it has, all, it has an all-seeing eye and a perfect system of bookkeeping in which it keeps an accurate account of the transactions of every human being engaged in the business of trying to get without giving. Sooner or later, its auditors come around, look over the records of individuals, both great and small, and demand an accounting. 
right? And so I think this is really powerful. I think I said yesterday um, in the video when I was explaining to you guys, I'm doing this for the next 14 days, that when I first got started in business, I was completely confused about how to become successful, right? I thought that things would be automatic and it would be very easy, but I wasn't realizing that it's, it's an exchange Right? It's an exchange. So it says there's but one dependable method of accumulating and legally holding riches, and that is by rendering useful service. So you have to provide a service. You have to uh, put in the equivalent of what it is that you would hope to get out. So that is, if you can live by this law, and again, the, the law is always going to work, right? If you can live by this law, then you can create whatever financial abundance you want to create in your life, right? if you're willing to, to do that. So if you're somebody who's like, you know, I understand the lottery is not gonna work out. I understand that, you know, these get rich quick things will not work out, but I am willing to work hard. I am willing to provide value and be of useful service. Then show me a message. I have got 10, a list that I put together of 10 things that you can do to earn some extra cash on the side. Um, and you're going to want this list, right? If you're serious about earning some extra cash and you want to do something that's legitimate, shoot me a message. Tip number two, I think, is actually a really cool one. My friend Andrea um, used this one and was able to pay for her daughter's prom dress just last weekend. And that was really huge for her because she was like, I didn't want her to have to sacrifice at all. And she didn't have to. She was able to pay for exactly what her daughter needed um, and... I think that's the power of, of showing, uh, rendering useful service. So if you're somebody who would like those tips, shoot me a message. I'll get them over to you. Otherwise, I look forward to chatting with you soon. Ciao.